Saturday, November 10th is Equal Pay Day, the day the Fawcett Society calculates that women, on average, essentially start working for free because of the gender pay gap. But here's the thing. The ONS calculated just a few weeks ago that the pay gap is the lowest it's ever been on record. Yet Equal Pay Day hasn't moved. It's the same day as it was last year. That's because they're using an inflated statistic to make the situation look worse than it is. We have to stop indulging this. So if you don't want to listen to the fear-mongering around women in the workplace, I'm going to provide some alternative listening for you today. I've brought together some incredible women from across the political spectrum, diverse backgrounds, diverse views, but they all agree on one thing, and that's that there's a positive story to tell about women in the workplace, and you're going to hear from them today. I want to hear from you what positive story you want to tell the women listening to this podcast today. We are so lucky living in this country in terms of our access to uh, to the world of work. If you work hard and you are good, you will get on, not in spite of your gender, but because you are who we you are. We have more women in work in the United Kingdom than we've ever had before. And that's a great thing. It is a great achievement. Life is good for women because of the battles and the struggles for freedom that we've waged in the last sort of few decades. There's a positive time, I think, especially for me, from my heritage of the continent of Africa, women are leading and we're seeing real change. We have more women in positions of power than ever before. Actually, they've said, no, I'm not prepared to fit into this victim mould. And although there are grievances that we might want to take up, we're not going to be swept along with some kind of popular uh, women's movement where we have to say that everything is terrible and that men are our enemies. We're coming out of universities in greater numbers. You know, we're earning the same as men in our 20s and 30s. The, the equal rights are here to stay. There are more female law and med medical graduates than ever before. The female Prime Minister, the leader of the Lords and Commons, who got there without any shortlist or affirmative action. It's, it's a really great time. And don't let the rhetoric about society and the patriarchy get you down. It's actually a really good time to be a woman in society. The UK gender pay gap was reported to have shrunk to a record low. Thank you.